Welcome to this tutorial. We're going to create our own template in Dreamweaver. To start, we're going to go to File, New, Blank Template. We're going to be using PHP, so we'll just select PHP. Layout is None. These are some of the predefined layouts that are available as um, templates within Dreamweaver. These two here are HTML5 compliant, but we're going to create our own. We just change the document type to HTML5. We won't um, worry about a CSS file just for the moment because we're going to create our own in the next tutorial. So we'll just click the create button. Now, I'm looking at it here in code view. If we look in design view, we'll see that there's um, Nothing there, it's just a blank sheet as you'd expect. Uh, but in code view, this is the information we have. We have the doc type is HTML, which signifies HTML5. We've got our HTML tag, our head tag, which goes down to here, and then our body tag that goes down to there. For the moment, we're going to leave everything straightforward in the header tag. The body area is where we're going to look at now. Now we want to create a um, template here similar to that outlined in the notes. We'll start off first of all by creating a div, giving it an ID which we will soon define in our CSS file and this ID we're going to call a container. So this will be the overall container for the um, body of the, the document or for our template. I always like to go and then complete the tag. Okay, So that's the end of the container tag. Up here I'm just going to do a tab and we're going to create now the header. Um, header is a new um, tag that's available in Dreamweaver, or sorry in HTML5. And again we just finish the head tag. And in here, um, just for the moment, I'm just going to put a H1 with um, logo goes here or something like that. Just so that we know what we're talking about and we can see it. Okay. Next down, I'm going to create a navigation. So again, there's a new tag called nav in HTML5. This time I'm going to use class, um, and I'm going to give it a class of horizontal. And I do, of course, need a quote here. And of course, the end. Um, and again, I'm just going to finish the nav. Now, for the navigation, I'm going to use an unordered list. So I'm going to do a UL and finish it off. And inside that, then, I'm going to have a list item or an LI tag. Um, and that's going to be a hyperlink. So I'm going to have the A tag and then the href is going to be equal to the individual page that I'm going to link to. For the moment, though, um, I'm just going to say index. Um, dot PHP, and we can sort that out when we start making a an actual website. Um, and for the text, I'm just going to put home, and then that's the end of my a tag, and it's also the end of my list item tag. If I have any more links that I want to put in, I will just create more uh, list items in here in the UL. We'll just scroll down a wee bit here. So after navigation. Um, the next thing we're going to go to is the main section for our content. So we're going to have a section ID here, another new HTML5. Um, and it's going to have an ID equal to, um, we call it main. Okay. And I'm just going to put in a bit of text here. It's paragraph. Um, so this is the main content area. Okay, that's also the end section there as well. Then I want to have an aside, so um, just put the aside in there and again a bit of text and uh, this is the aside. And then I want to have a footer. And inside the footer, I'm going to have an address uh, tag. 
And it's quite likely this address ta um, tag is going to become very important in the future for search engine optimization. Now we'll just put some text in there that will get sorted out in the near future. And then we also have uh, end of footer. Okay. And then we have uh, essentially created a template for ourselves here. I'll just look at the design view here and we'll see we've got our header, we're going to have our navigation coming across here, main contact area, um, the aside, although eventually that aside would be over here on the right hand side, we'll sort that out shortly, and then Peter Gosling's contact details again will be in the footer. There's no, at this stage, there's no um, details uh, with regard to the CSS file, but we're going to sort that out shortly. All that remains for us now at the moment is just to save that, and I'm going to go File, Save. What Dreamweaver will do is it'll come up and say that there's no editable regions. That means that um, we need an editable region to be able to make changes on each individual page. We don't worry about that at the moment. We'll just do OK. And it will then ask us to save it. Okay, um, and we will give it a um, name here. We'll just call it uh, template home. Okay, and save. Okay, if we look in the files tab now, we will see that we now have a templates folder, and inside that templates folder, we have our template one dwt, which stands for Dreamweaver Template .php, which is just signifying that is a PHP file. So we've created our template. The next tutorial will go through creating the style sheet associated with it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.